Hey everybody, it's Jason and welcome back to my channel. So the other day I fired up the old Craftsman lawnmower and started to cut the lawn and out of nowhere all of this black smoke started spewing out of the exhaust so uh, I turned her around and put it straight back into the shed, let it cool down and started to take a look around. I quickly realized that the right cylinder was leaking oil all over the place you know, all the way down the side of the uh, the frame and, uh, you know, it was just dripping off the head onto the muffler, which uh, was also contributing to the smoke. My first thought was that it was either the valve cover gasket or the head gasket leaking. And after taking a quick look, I could see that there was oil dripping off of the bottom of the head. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's going to be the head gasket. Really, the only way to know for sure is by direct inspection, meaning I have to actually pop the head off and take a look at the gasket. The first step is always to take off the negative terminal of the battery. You don't want to have any electrical problems. And then there's a whole bunch of plastic that's got to come off. It's really not that complicated. It just takes a little bit of time. For those keeping track, the engine is a Briggs & Stratton 24 horse uh, two cylinder. It's been a pretty good engine, actually. Uh, I have had a little bit of trouble with it. Uh, a little while back, I had the typical problem of uh, the push rods getting bent as the uh, valve stuck. I had a successful repair there. It's been going for quite a while. I've uh, been going almost a full season on that repair. And uh, from what I've seen, this is also a fairly typical repair for uh, this engine and all of their twins. Okay, I've got the head off and uh, taking a closer look at that head gasket. I don't see anything obvious, but if you take a look inside the cylinder, you're going to see there's a bunch of oil sitting in the bottom of it, which shouldn't be there. But then I popped off the gasket and, uh, well, there, there's the problem right there. Okay, well, there's the spot right there where it's blown through. Doesn't seem to have done any damage to the cylinder. Oh. It's just uh, just a bit of staining. I'll, uh, of course, I'll clean this, this surface all up. Fortunately, the solution to this problem is pretty straightforward. I just have to go in and get myself a new head gasket. So if you're going to go into the uh, Briggs dealer to order parts, you need the uh, serial number and model number and all that. That's punched into the uh, this valve cover head right here. So I'll, uh, I'll probably just take it, well, I'll clean that up, take a picture of it, take it right in with me, and uh, get that thing ordered up. Let's take a look at this cylinder head gasket and see what we can figure out. So this surface here would have been against the, the block, all right? Okay, you can see it's blown out here between uh, the cylinder bore and where the um, push rods pass through on the head pretty clearly blew through and you can see it's all, it's starting to kind of crack over here too so that probably wasn't far behind so this is the bottom of the cylinder here and you can see that it's looking pretty pretty weak as well probably if it wasn't leaking through there it was about to and up here a little bit rough okay so here's the replacement it's an original Briggs and Stratton I got it from the dealer uh, this, I forget what it cost, uh, $35 Canadian, something like that. It does look like there are differences, but maybe I wouldn't be able to see them with the naked eye. They're the, they're the same punching though, and, uh, they're going to fit. So we'll put it back on, torque it properly and give it a shot. Before I put that new gasket back on, I'm going to take a little bit of time and clean up the two mating surfaces so that they are, uh, spick and span. You don't want anything in there to, uh, interfere with the seal. And the other thing that I'm going to do is uh, I gave the head gasket just a light spray down with uh, some gasket sealer. Um, all that will do is fill in any little imperfections that uh, I can't see or little scrapes or whatnot. Uh, it just makes sure that the, the seal is, is just that much better. The 
service manual recommends a final torque value of 18 foot pounds for the five head bolts. I'm going to push that up to 20. I don't think it's going to cause any problems to do that. I'm going to sneak up on that 20 pounds uh, by first giving it a torque to 10, then to 15, and then finally I'm going to take it up to 20. And once I'm satisfied that the head has been torqued back on properly, I, uh, I have to go back and reset the valves. Anytime you take the head off of uh, an engine like this, you've got to go back and just make sure that the, uh, the valve lash is, uh, is proper. In this case, it is 6 thousandths of an inch on both the intake and the exhaust. Uh, it was pretty close, but it wasn't exactly right. Then it's just a matter of going back and bolting everything back on where you found it. Uh, in this case, there is a, uh, a small plate at the very front of the engine that holds the throttle mechanism. Uh, there is going to be the intake, which connects the carburetor. And finally, there is the exhaust, which goes on the bottom of the head and uh, tightens up with a couple of Allen bolts. The last major engine component is the valve cover. I don't know if you noticed, but there was a small rip in the gasket from when I took it off. So I put a little bit of sealant on that, which should be fine. And then it's just a matter of putting all the plastic back on and I'm not gonna bother showing you that. We'll just uh, go straight to the end and see how it starts. All right, let's give her a shot. Uh, I adjusted the uh, choke while I was down there too. It was a bit, a bit hard starting, so let's see if that makes any difference. Full choke. It's got an idling, uh, low idle after oh, a minute. Nice and smooth. There's a smell of oil, but there's oil not enough. So that's going to hang around for a little while. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to take it out, cut the line. So it's a couple days later. I've, uh, I've cut the lawn. I have a fairly large lawn here to cut uh, an acre or so. And I've been using it to uh, pull in some, you know, stuff that's fallen off the trees. It seems to be working perfectly. Um, no, no sign of any smoke, nice and smooth, not using any oil. So I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching and uh, I'm going to call it a day on this video and we're going to call this a success. So uh, if you like this kind of stuff and you haven't done it already, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe and uh, watch my other videos. All right, guys, thank you very much. And have a great day.